Elite team leadership. Uh, welcome to this short introduction. First and foremost, why should you attend this? Um, first and foremost, the point number one is to make your how to make your team relevant in your company. First and foremost, and that's point number one. Point number two, how to turn your group into a team. I have learned over the years that people like to call themselves team leaders, but they have never ever worked for a team. They have 10 individuals that are working for themselves in the organization underneath that team leader, who's not a team leader, but a group leader. What, I, <clears throat> what we train here is to make sure that you, from that point when you leave the training, go out and make a team out of your group. So, and this team, uh, you have to turn, and that's the point number two, to turn them out to be the best team in your company. And the best team means that you have to bridge each and every individual's performance ability to what I call the team uh, effort that we have to deliver as a team. Each and everyone has to contribute into this, and that means that you bridge the professional skills that people have until what is needed to run the team, so they can, can contribute to that team and get things done. Number three, we have to introduce a 20% improvement on results from day one. I'll give you three months. Remember, leadership is always a bottom-up approach, and that means that you involve each and everyone in your team in how to introduce a 20% increase in results. Number four, make everyone being able to speak up. One of the things that we see constantly again and again and again is, first and foremost, that the team leader, he can't speak up when it's necessary and highly needed. He tried to get around it, not to speak the truth, but, you know, move ahead, always talk the truth, but a little bit move around, you know, and people get the wrong message. Each and every one in your team should be able to speak up, including you, Whatever it's a good or bad message, they should be able to deliver that. And we talk about several cases where we discuss this. So, how to deliver a bad message and how to deliver a good message? How to deliver what I call a difficult message? And how to uh, deliver what I call a splendid, exceptional good message to your people and get it done? We also teach you in how to make team evaluation. We drop what I call performance appraisals, individual performance appraisals. From now on, we only talk about team evaluation and how each and every one contribute to the team goal. That's it. That is what we train here on team leadership. And I promise you one thing, after that, you can <laughs> sign yourself up as elite team leader. But remark one thing, if your team is not the best team, you can hardly be the best team leader. We'll make sure that this happens for you. Please show up, sign up on our website, 